hello everyone welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to create a global pick list value set in salesforce and we are going to learn this concept for both salesforce lighting as well as the classic interface so let's proceed and firstly understand what does we mean by a global pick list values in salesforce so salesforce provide us with a featured name as a global pick list value set which allows administrators to define the state of a standardized value and we can share and use these value in a multiple pick list fields for a different object either you can use it in a pick list field or in a multi select pick list field in addition to this this global pick list value offers you a centralized method for a data centralization in contrast to a normal pick list field which are a particular to the single item by creating this global pick list value set we are constructing a standard set of alternatives that can be used across different fields throughout the salesforce organization it ensures that data entry is consistent it minimizes the errors and supports the data integrity overall this salesforce global pick list value set is a tools that is used to manage data improve the quality and enhance the user experience Uh, let's understand it with example. For example, you have uh, some values like you have a name of a continent, and you need it in a multiple pick list. So you are not going to create up again and again these pick list values. We basically create up the global pick list value, and we can use in a different pick list fields or a multi select pick list field. So now let's proceed. i learn to create a global pick list value set in salesforce lightning so your first step is to login into a salesforce account and as administrator once you successfully logged in make sure that you are in a lightning interface if you are not in a lightning one firstly redirect to the lightning interface the next step is to take care of that that you are on a main home setup page of a lightning if you are not on that click on the gear icon that is given on the top right side and click on the setup option once you click on that it takes you to the page of a main home setup lightning interface so once you reached on a main home setup page you will see a quick find box on a left side here on the quick find box you need to search for the pick list value set and once you type this thing in a quick find box you will get this option under objects and field category and here you need to click on that pick list value sets once you click on that it will take you to the page where you can set up the pick list value set basically these are the global pick list value sets in a salesforce now you can see that it write it as a global pick list value set let you share the values across a different object base custom pick list fields on a global value set to inherit its value this value set is restricted to the user and can't edit unapproved values through the api here you can see that it has a new button given on the top and you need to click on the new one to create a new global pick list value set once i click on that it takes me to the page where i need to enter up the label name for the global pick list value set so now let's enter it as a country red type and you can see that it automatically populated the name field on the basis of the label that i have entered here you can see that it written as a this is the unique name that is used by the api and it is a managed package it name must be begin with the letter and use only alpha numerical characters and underscore the name cannot end with the underscore or have two consecutive underscore if you have the spaces Additionally, if you want to enter up the description, you can add it. Otherwise, you can leave as it is. Here, I have noted down uh, my values in the notepad, so I just simply copy it and uh, paste down here. And make sure that each value must be separated with the new line. A new value must be separated with the new line. Otherwise, it will treat it as a one value. Uh, so once you entered up the values, you need to click on the save button that is given on the top if you want to create a more global pick list you can click on the save in the new button and continue with that process also so i click on the save one once on i click on the save button 
it successfully created up a new global value set you can see that named as a country and these are the values that i have entered in this so with this we have successfully learned how to create a global value set in a salesforce lightning now we will proceed and learn to create a global picklist value set in salesforce classic for this we firstly need to shift over to self to the classic interface so i click on the avatar that is given on the top right side and here i have option of a switch to a salesforce classic once i click on that option it redirects me to the classic interface and by default you always log to the home page of a salesforce classic now to redirect yourself to the setup page you need to click on the setup option that is given on the top you need to click on that and once you click on the setup it will take you to the classic interface setup of a salesforce now you can scroll down to the build section or you can either use the quick find box for searching up the picklist value set you can go with any of the way that you like i am scrolling down to this build section here i have a option of a create and once i click on that drop down of a create you can see that here i have a option of a values picklist value set when i click on that it will take me to the page where i can create a new picklist value in salesforce or it shows me the list of the global value sets that are already created now i click on the new button as i want to create up the new and once i click on the new it will take me to the page where i can enter up the information as per my requirement this time i am going to create up the global picklist value as a event type so here i enter the label as a event type and the name is automatically populated based upon that here the name is a api name and this space is removed with the underscore sign if you want to add up a description for that you can add it otherwise you can leave as it is because it is not a required field the next we have a section for the values make sure that each new value is separated with the new line and here i have entered up my some values and uh, after entering the value you need to click on the save button once you click on the save button it successfully created up a new global value set in salesforce classic name as a event type and here are the values that i have entered in it so with this we have successfully learned up how to create up a global value set or a global picklist value set in salesforce lightning as well as a classic interface if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day